Hi everybody. I just thought I'd do you a quick update on the FX 650 build. What I've done, I know I said I wasn't going for the lithium battery route. But um, as this bike is a single, it needs quite a big battery. So when I was looking at uh, the replacement batteries, they're all so big because this needs quite a lot of juice to turn it over. So I opted. I think the the acid and the gel batteries were running out between, I think, 26 and about 35, 40 quid. And uh, that lithium battery, they must have come down in price since I bought the battery for the CX because that was 70 quid. It's a big old battery compared to my other one. Um, so I went for this. Now, I can either have it standing when I make the clamps. I think so that'll either go like that because there's room under the seat because the seat stands on rubber stands. Line that with rubber. And also, I've had to cut a hole in the. This is the on the top of the frame. And uh, when you look from underneath, it exposed the bars. And I thought that looked a bit crap. So what I've done was I cut a panel for the bottom. and makes a nice recess to fit in there. When it's, when it's all untwiddled. That will fit in there quite nice with the fuse box. Um, the starter solenoid and the indicator relay will go in here and that's the electric sorted out so you've got a little box under there which is going to be welded in and sealed up um, oh, that's, the, oh, that's the foam dropped on the floor yeah this this was mounted in that position, but the sidebar came in the way, and I thought, oh, I'll just tack it up there and have it higher up, but it interferes with the, the air filter. So now, when the bike's apart, okay, that's going to mount in there, out of the way. So I'm just getting the electrics rigged up. Um... So although the engine was running, the clutch plates need looking at. So I was going to get this all rigged up, get the loom sitting where it's got to go, and then basically that's all the fabrication done. Um, I've got the foot peg hangers off. As you can see, I've trimmed off, I've trimmed off the rear peg. Where does that sit? It's actually that way up. I trimmed off the rear peg, and I think it was the seat belt, uh, not the seat belt, the um, crash helmet lock. That little tag sticking up on the back is for the rear brake master cylinder, which the nut, you can see the nut snapped off. So they've got to go to shock blasting. I've just as you can see, that one came out. That one's going to be have to be hacksawed off. I've just trimmed that off, so I'll get that all filed up before it goes to shot blasting. This has got to come off. In fact, that might be the helmet mount. I don't know what the other thing was. Yeah, that. I'll cut that off. Cut this off. I can't get these bloody pegs off, they're so rusty. So um, I've had them soaking, I'm going to have to cut that off and find some other pegs to go on there. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're on to the back end now, so it's just a bit of grinding, cleaning up to do. And then we can take, 
going to take the clutch out then we'll get it running again make sure the clutch is working before I take it totally out and then I'll take the engine out cut these last bits off finish the welding make sure it's all fully welded and then I can clean that up for paint front end's done I don't know if I showed you the funky headlamps I bought that's the headlights and the speedo so as the weather gets worse more is happening on the bike now I bought a Ram Air, air filter for there I was, couldn't find this, that's 62 millimeters across there um, I can only find a 65 millimeter which went on fine um, A small issue with the welding the exhaust on titanium stainless now you can weld titanium to stainless but you need a massive shroud on your teak torch to as you're welding the weld is cooled by the gas just stop it cracking um, which I haven't got, you have to make. So I'm gonna just clean these broken welds up. And then I'm gonna slot this. I bought a clamp to go around there. And I'm gonna use some exhaust putty and bandage inside there as a gasket. Very similar to what's on the original exhaust. And then I'm gonna clamp it. We'll see how we get on with that. Um, this exhaust needs finishing off. That will do when it comes off. I've got to make some sort of clamp on the back of that a rubber mount to go there. We'll figure that out. Well, she's coming on. Okay, that's just uh, it's a bit dark in here. A quick update on the. Uh, I don't know what we're going to call it, battery electrics tray.